Microsoft is going all in to dominate the AI landscape. In fiscal year 2025, they're investing a staggering $80 billion to build AI-enabled data centers, half of it in the U.S. These centers will power advanced AI models and applications globally, fueling the next wave of AI-driven innovations. But it is not stopping there. CEO Nadella has announced a new engineering team, the core AI platforms and tools, dedicated to creating the new tools and platforms needed for the next generation of agentic applications. And you are probably tired of hearing that agents are the future, but agentic apps are set to transform industries by automating workflows and enabling AI agents to analyze data and take actions autonomously. This isn't automation in the classical sense. It's about AI becoming a decision maker in our daily tools and processes in ways only humans were able to do. And the year has only just begun. Microsoft has already launched Autogen V04, a re-engineer framework for building agentic AI systems. And it includes Autogen Studio, a low-code platform that allows businesses to prototype AI agents quickly. And it is amazing. Just look at how quickly a workflow is created. And it is great because there is no one-size-fits-all in business context. It really comes down to your specific requirements. And this platform will empower anyone to create AI agents. So please be a pioneer and start building today. Now, I think we need to talk about OpenAI's O1 models because there is a lot of misunderstanding how they actually work and what they are good for. And with O3, the next generation of these models already in development, is a perfect time to dive into what makes them special. Unlike ChatGPT, O1 isn't a chat model. It's more like a report generator designed for complex reasoning and precise single-shot outputs. You don't just ask it simple questions. It requires detailed context and clear goals, like onboarding a new team member. When used correctly, it can generate entire architectural plans, analyze complex scenarios, or even produce complete code files in one attempt. OpenAI is moving away from conversational AI to build tools that solve real-world challenges with unmatched efficiency. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. In a recent statement, CEO Sam Altman claimed OpenAI is now confident they know how to build AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. This next step won't just create smarter tools. It promises to completely change how businesses operate. OpenAI envisions super intelligent AI driving breakthroughs in science and innovation while reshaping industries through AI agents. So it is no coincidence that Microsoft is pushing so hard into AI agents. The race to dominate the AI revolution is heating up. I just really hope that AI will really improve all our lives. The race for AI supremacy is on, and we know OpenAI and Microsoft are doing some crazy stuff. But Google is not about to be left behind. They just integrated their latest generative AI capabilities directly into Google Workspace. But what's the big deal? Well, it is at no extra cost for businesses and enterprise customers. Gemini can summarize emails, create polished documents, and even take meeting notes. And for harder tasks, you also got Gemini at that which supports coding, data analysis, and research. Meanwhile, Notebook LM Plus lets team upload sources, extract insights, and share customized notebooks to accelerate collaboration. It is truly insane. This is the way I imagine actionable AI. But as you can expect, Microsoft isn't sitting still. They've made Microsoft 365 Copilot chat free for all their commercial customers. They are also introducing a new pay-as-you-go option for advanced AI agents with tons of customizations. If your organization uses Microsoft, I hope they will at least let you use the free option. So please go and start experimenting. Now let's look at what's happening on a global scale, because it is not just companies that are competing. In the U.S., former President Biden recently signed an executive order to address the massive energy needs of AI by leasing federal land for gigawatt-scale data centers powered by clean energy. It also requires companies to buy American-made semiconductors, strengthening national security and innovation. OpenAI is backing this effort with a blueprint for AI leadership. Using federal investment in infrastructure, streamlined regulations, and global partnerships to keep advanced AI models 
safe and competitive. But it is not only the US. Just around the corner, UK is craving its own path. Prime Minister Starmer's AI's Opportunities Action Plan promises to fast-track infrastructure with AI growth zones, a national data library, and a new supercomputer. The UK aims to position itself as a global AI superpower, rejecting heavy-handed EU regulations in favor of a pro-innovation approach. And the EU? Europe is at risk of being left behind in this transformative phrase. AI is no longer a hype, so I hope to see some changes in 2025. Let's take a look at the craziest and most insane news of the week. And it's coming from China. You might be wondering what's going on there. Well, a lot is going on. But this time there is only one major suspect making huge waves. For once, there is an insane price war going on. All because of this new key on the block, DeepSeek. It's forced Baidu, Alibaba, and other tech giants to dramatically reduce the cost of using their LLMs. I mean, Alibaba has slashed price by 85%, and it won't be long before this has an impact on our markets. The deal is this. DeepSeek recently launched DeepSeek V2, an open-source AI model that redefines efficiency and cost while maintaining incredible performance. But you might ask, how efficient exactly? They've reduced the cost of inference to just 14 cents per million token. For comparison, that's one seventieth of the cost of GPT-4 Turbo and one seventh of the cost of Llama 370B. They achieved this by developing a novel architecture called multi-head latent attention and the deep seek most sparse structure, which drastically reduced memory usage and computational costs. This allows them to achieve remarkable performance without the heavy price tag. Building on this momentum, DeepSeek has now released DeepSeek R1, an open source reasoning model licensed under MIT. This model delivers performance comparable to OpenAI's O1, which requires a $200 monthly subscription. Just take a look at the input output price comparison. The difference is striking. Technically, DeepSeek R1 is groundbreaking. Unlike the OpenAI models that rely heavily on supervised data, DeepSeek R1 was developed using pure reinforcement learning. This approach allows the model to teach itself reasoning skills through trial and error, eliminating the need for extensive labeled data. This method is particularly effective for tasks requiring logical thinking and problem solving. However, it's crucial to approach these developments with caution. Reports indicate that some Chinese AI models, including those from DeepSeek, have been influenced by government censorship, leading to the denial of well-documented historical events. For instance, when queried about events like the Tiananmen Square protest or issues concerning Taiwan's autonomy, the model declines to respond, aligning with the mandate to embody core socialist values. This raises significant ethical concerns about the information these models produce and their potential impact on global discourse. In summary, China's AI landscape is evolving at an unprecedented pace with companies like DeepSeek pushing technological boundaries and disrupting market dynamics. While these advancements are impressive, it's imperative to remain mindful of the ethical implications and the accuracy of the information generated by these AI models. Let's take a look at how two giants from very different industries are using AI to transform their businesses and redefine customer experience. First, let's talk about Panasonic. The company recently launched its bold Panasonic Go initiative, signaling its commitment to becoming an AI-first company with over 10 billion invested in AI development and partnerships with top innovators like Anthropic. Panasonic is embedding AI across its operations. Their PayX AI assistant is already in use by 180,000 employees streamlining operations and boosting efficiency. But it doesn't stop there. Panasonic's AI ambitions extend to supply chain optimization through Blue Yonder, a platform that combines predictive and generative AI to make over 20 billion predictions daily, aiming for autonomous supply chains and sustainability. On the other hand, we have Mercedes-Benz, bringing AI directly into the driver's seat. Their next-generation MBUX virtual assistant, powered by Google Cloud's automotive AI agent, will debut in the new CLA series. What's exciting is the seamless human-like conversational inference 
that can remember context and handle complex multi-turn dialogues. For instance, you can ask it, guide me to the nearest fine dining restaurant. Does it have good reviews? The assistant responds with accurate real-time data from Google Maps platform, offering a personalized and highly intuitive experience. But here's the thing though. Seeing a company like Mercedes-Benz integrating generative AI into their car so quickly is a breath of fresh air, especially in Germany, where companies like Volkswagen are still struggling to modernize their IT systems. And then there is, of course, Panasonic. For a company that has traditionally thrived on selling hardware, this push towards AI feels more like a fight for survival than a strategic evolution. Panasonic's traditional business models are being disrupted, and they are now betting on AI to secure their future. It's a bold move, but also a necessary one in a market that's no longer forgiving to companies stuck in the past. But let's not lose sight of the bigger picture. How many others are falling behind? For every Mercedes-Benz or Panasonic taking these leaps, there are countless others still playing catch up, or worse, resisting change. AI isn't waiting for anyone, and the companies that fall to embrace it risk becoming irrelevant faster than they realize. Well, that's it for today. As always, you can find the link to all the news in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing.